Darren, just first of all, obviously, with the disappointment of the other game, how important is it not to dwell on that and go with a, a big reaction to Harrogate? Yeah, it's important. We've we've had a look at the video today, um, highlighted the, the mistakes and the areas we need to improve, but also highlighted some really good play as well, which, um, you know, there, there was quite a bit of it on Saturday. We wasn't ruthless enough in the final third, you know, I do... I do say that quite a lot, but I'm I'm hard on I'm hard on the front boys because, you know, having worked with them day in day out, I know their capabilities. So sometimes when they don't quite fulfil their qualities and their abilities on a Saturday, it can be frustrating. But do you know what? We're in a bad place at the minute. We're in a bad place. We haven't been we haven't been setting the world alight. Understatement, I know, but we haven't been setting the world alight. But I believe in this group and they've got doubters at the minute. I personally have doubters at the minute. I've had doubters all my career, all of my career. So, and I've enjoyed proving them wrong. And I will prove everyone wrong here as well, like this group of players will, because I won't stop believing in them. I know their capabilities. Are we underperforming at the minute and underachieving? 100%, I see that. But we ain't gonna stop fighting to do what's right for this club and this team because I care about this team and I care about this football club. We have not won enough football matches in recent weeks. I accept that, 100% accept that. But we will turn the corner. There's no doubt in my mind that this team will turn the corner. And when we do turn the corner and we start to have a purple patch, which I know we will, and trust me, I hope it starts tomorrow. And the fight begins tomorrow because the corner will get turned. There's no doubt about it. Um, we've had, we have conversations all the time. So please understand, it's not just when we win or just when we lose. We're always, always having team meetings and discussions on how to be better. And there is a general feeling that we are all underperforming at the minute. So there's no one has got their head in the sand. So we turn up at Arrogate tomorrow with enough pluses and positives that we can take out of Saturday without neglecting the, the, obvious, the, the, the obvious two goals and the one or two things we could have done better. So work's been done today. We hope to start to turn the corner tomorrow. If it ain't tomorrow, we roll our sleeves up again and we look forward to turning the corner on Saturday. But the plan is to turn the corner tomorrow because we're in a bad place at the minute and it's only going to be hard work, <clears throat> fight and togetherness that will help us turn the corner. There has been plenty of pluses that I can take from this season, personally. Not everyone agrees, but personally, plenty of pluses that I can take. And I've probably been less positive lately when being interviewed and when speaking to people because of frustration. But I've turned the page now. Back to my old self, being positive and being behind this group of players. Obviously, it's good to see how passionate you are about getting back to winning ways. But we certainly have the personnel in the squad to do it. We have those leaders like Dan Sweeney, Andre Bucard in there that will be just as desperate as you are to get back to where we know we can be. And this is part of the conversation that's been had today because the boys are an honest group that know that they've been letting themselves down, letting myself down, letting the club down, etc. Like we all have been letting each other down. There's no doubt. But it's times like this where I'm going to learn about myself. I'm going to learn about this group of players because we will turn this round. There's no doubt about it. We have dropped points in recent games through the finest of detail and individual errors that have cost us. And what I can't have is people going in their shell, feeling sorry for themselves and not being prepared to fight for this club. I'm prepared to fight for this club and the boys have accepted they're prepared to fight for this club. Now, truthfully, shouldn't have taken a run of games to get this way. I accept that. Should be within us day in, day out. But what we've done is underperformed and we've got plenty of games left and we're not far off the playoffs. And if we turn this corner and get it right, and we all work hard together, roll our sleeves up, work as hard as we possibly can, 
we've got the quality, we've got the personnel to turn this corner. You must welcome a game in such quick succession to put it right almost instantly. Yes. I look forward to every game. Um, obviously, it's that constant looking for a reaction, you know, but that gets boring after a while, doesn't it? Keep constantly looking for a reaction. What I want to see, what, I, what we can affect is the performance. We can affect how hard we work. We can affect how we approach the game, our style of play. The result, you know, I think if we get the performance right, we get the work ethic right, you have a better chance of the result following. Performance of late, been a bit up and down, been a bit patchy in games, but what I'm trying to do is change a culture and change a belief and change a mood and a mindset at this club that every time I feel like we're getting there, we end up taking one or two steps back. And then I feel like we're getting there and then we take one or two steps back. It's, it's a longer process than I wanted it to be. And, there's, and I'm not making any excuses. We're in a position that I'm uncomfortable with because we should be five, six, seven points better off. And what we need to do can't affect the past now, can only affect going forward. And that starts tomorrow.